Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with a video going over what you can expect to see on Monday at WWDC. So it looks like Apple is going to be refreshing most of the Mac lineup, including the MacBook Pro, the MacBook Air, the iMac, and the Mac Pro, so let's take a look. To start with, let's go over the new MacBook Pro. Now this is likely going to be the biggest new redesign, as they will be pretty much entirely scrapping the current MacBook Pro design and going with a new, thinner design. So some of the new things that are going to be on it is it's going to have a new Retina display, most likely somewhere around the 2560 by 1600 resolution. Now if you guys don't know, that's basically the same kind of resolution as you will find on an Apple Cinema display or 27 inch iMac. Not bad for a 15 inch laptop. The new MacBook Pro should be using the new Intel Ivy Bridge processors. Now these are likely going to be Core i5s and Core i7s. And while there won't be a massive difference as far as the performance between the current MacBook Pros and the new ones, where the big difference is going to be is in battery life, as these should be considerably less draining on your battery. An Australian part sheet is leaked, and on here you can clearly see that there are only going to be two new MacBook Pro models. These are both probably going to be 15 inch, one will probably have a Core i5 and a standard hard drive, and the other will most likely have a Core i7 and an SSD. Now, as far as what's going to be going on with the 13 and 17 inch MacBook Pros, who knows, but it definitely does look like we will be getting some new MacBook Pro 15 inch models. Next up we have the MacBook Airs. Now I'm a big fan of the Air, I have an 11 inch, and there should be some really nice improvements here. So we should also see Intel Ivy Bridge processors coming to the MacBook Air. So again, just like on the MacBook Pro, it should be a little bit faster, but the biggest difference will be in battery life and also in improved graphics. We also should now see a Retina display on the MacBook Air. So this is going to be really, really nice. Of course, the current MacBook Airs have actually really nice screens, but having that really high definition Retina goodness is going to be really something great. Something else I really hope to see on the new MacBook Airs is an option to at least pick up 8GB of RAM. In my opinion, that's one of the bigger problems with the Air right now, is that 4GB is the absolute max. Moving on to the iMac, we actually don't have a ton of information. Now that same part sheet that showed the MacBook Pros and the MacBook Airs also shows two new models of the 21 inch iMac as well as the 27 inch iMac. Now we've heard some talk about an all new redesigned iMac, however it's a little unclear whether we're going to see that or just a simple redesign of the current one with Ivy Bridge processors, USB 3 and maybe a couple of small tweaks. Personally I'm actually leaning towards that, I think the current iMac, even though it is about 3 years old right now, I think the current design is fine and unless we find some 4K displays on there I don't think that's going to be a major deal. It also looks like we're finally going to get a refresh of the Mac Pro. Now of course the current Mac Pro not only is the design several several years old, but we actually haven't even seen any kind of update to it whatsoever in the past couple of years. Beyond a new hardware design on the Mac Pro, I also expect to see the new Intel Xeon processors. Now these have already been out for just a little while, and of course you'll be able to get it in both one as well as two CPU configurations. Anyway guys, that's a good look at what we're going to be seeing on Monday for the new Macs. I'm definitely curious to know, what do you guys have to say? Are you interested in MacBook Pros, MacBook Airs, are you looking at a new iMac, Mac Pro? Definitely be sure to let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to leave it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in more videos on the new Macs, definitely be sure to subscribe.